Uh, thanks, Abe, for that introduction, and thanks to all of you for coming out tonight. Ignite's one of those great events, and it's glad to see such a full room. Tonight, I'm going to talk about the other 1%. So, at this point, we've all heard about the Occupy movement. We're not changing. There we go. Oh, before I start, I want to say, full disclosure, I'm a total liberal. Uh, I volunteer, I donate, provincial and federal, um, but I've done my best to keep this nonpartisan. I've, I've done my best. <laughs> It's hard. So by now we've all heard about the Occupy movement, that nefarious 1% that controls everything and the 99% that is left in the financial dust. The other 1% in its undisguised arrogance is found in our political system. And I'm not talking about the 308 people we send to Ottawa every four years or every two years lately. But I'm talking about us, I'm talking about regular people like you and me, because today only 1% of Canadians are a member of a political party. That's this tiny little sliver over here next to this giant white void. So this might not seem like a big deal to you, but these are the people who choose the leader of every party, and by extension, they choose this guy, they choose the prime minister. This is the most partisan slide, by the way. This is my favorite picture. <laughs> So, so it, doesn't, it doesn't end there. Uh, they also choose the candidates in each riding. They're the volunteers, the organizers, and the donors who influence the entire process. So that's a remarkable amount of control in the hands of a very small number of people. And yes, these are, these are regular people. They're people like you and me, but these are quite often the most die-hard partisan people, so people like me, not necessarily people like you. Uh, but the point is that it's, it's a very small number. Um, so every person has their reason for joining a political party, just like every individual has their reason for not joining. In today's fast-paced world, it's probable that most people just haven't thought about it. The most common reason I get from people uh, is psychological. So they believe that by joining a party, they have to become partisan to the core. And as such, they would be responsible to understand and defend every intricate detail of party policy. This simply is not the case. As a member, all you have to do is decide what's important to you. So the nature of political parties means they're going to have to take a lot of positions. They have to have a position about everything. What you have to do, as I said, is decide what's important to you, and then find the party that most closely reflects your values. From there, you can try to convince other people of your views. If you're successful, you can change the party and perhaps change the country. So, as a member, the basic minimum is to keep an open mind. You should be able to explain why you join the party, and you should be able to explain the issues that are important to you, but you don't have to explain everything. But I have two things that I want to stress tonight, and the first is this. Decisions are made by those who show up. I'm asking you tonight to start showing up. Join in, be engaged, and help build a more democratic Canada. The second point I want to stress is this. This is what you guys get every four years or two years or 18 months. You may get to mark an X on election day next to the name you like best, but only a select few of us get to choose the names that are there in the first place. So tonight I'm asking you to start putting names on the ballot instead of just marking an X. For more information on getting involved with the Liberal Party, come and talk to me. <laughs> I'm involved with London North Centre. Uh, if you live in London West or London Fanshawe, I'll at least be able to point you in the right direction. I know my friend Chris is in the back. He's in London Fanshawe. He'll be able to help you out. If you lean more to the left or to the right, check out the NDP or the Conservatives. And of course, don't forget about the Green Party too. They're pretty cool. So, Thanks for coming out tonight, and thanks for listening to my talk. The point is, get engaged in politics. You don't have to be the evil partisan person. Um, you can just be a regular person like me. So if you want to get in touch with me online, I'm on Twitter, I have a website, or just come and talk to me. I'll be around after talks are done.
Thanks.